Police are investigating a gruesome, deadly double shooting in Philadelphia's Fairmount Park. We are now hearing from the family of one of the victims after investigators say they were shot execution style. It is Friday night. I'm Gray Hall with Shari Williams. The big story tonight on Action News is that investigation into those execution style murders that happened right near the Mount Pleasant mansion just last night. Action News reporter Brianna Smith had a chance to speak to the mother and son of the woman who was found dead in the shooting. She joins us live now from police headquarters with their reactions. Brianna. Shari and Gray, such a heartbreaking situation. Christina Chambers' family says they spoke to her just hours before she was murdered. They say they don't know where she was and they don't know the man who was alongside her who was also killed, but they say they do know that both victims didn't deserve this. My heart, it's broken. Broken and it probably will be broken forever. But Terry Chambers is trying to piece together who would viciously kill her 38-year-old daughter, Christina Chambers. She was a, a beautiful person. She was very good. She loved people. And she was a mother to four children, ages 12, 13, 14, and 17. Like she tried to do everything for us and tried to make a way for us to have a good life. Philadelphia police say Chambers and 49-year-old Thurston Cooper were found murdered execution style near the historic Mount Pleasant mansion in Fairmount Park just before 11 Thursday night. Police say they were found lying next to each other in a gully with three shell casings feet away. Chambers was shot in the head and chest while Cooper was shot in the head. It's awful. How can you do that to somebody? It's, it's just out, it's out of control. Nobody should have to die like that. I just feel like that everybody should stop shooting and like the world could be a better place and now I could see her up in heaven one day. Christina's mother and her son, Tay Evans, are grateful they spoke to Christina hours before she was killed, leaving her with this final message. I said hi and I love you and she said I love you back and that was the last time I heard from her. I hope and pray she's okay. I hope that she will make peace and that she's with the Lord. And of course, the family hopes that police find the suspect or suspects who did this as soon as possible. Now, Mount Pleasant Mansion has surveillance cameras and police hope that the video provides them with some leads. There's also a $40,000 reward for information leading to an arrest and conviction. Live outside police headquarters, Brianna Smith for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Gray.